Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time of day it is where you are in the world. Uh, another brief video here, about five minutes, um, just looking at the um, photogrammetry section within Microsoft Flight Simulator. And here I am at um, Portsmouth Docks, a uh, historic dockyard actually, in um, Portsmouth, Hampshire, in England. Just taking a look, as you can see, the screen on the left shows photogrammetry is off. The screen on the right shows photogrammetry is on. I think there are eight cities um, within uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator that have photogrammetry included. Some people have suggested it slows down frame rates. I've never found that an issue, uh, and I have posted another video on that within here somewhere, so take a look at that. But as you can see here, with photogrammetry off, um, things look a little bit brighter. These videos are both shot at exactly the same time of the day. But the Mary Rose Museum, which is in the frame now, just behind the HMS Victory there to the left, on the right, that is a clearly uh, much better um, image of the Mary Rose Museum compared to the photogrammetry off image on the left-hand side. And as we pan away from that, as you move around with both of these cameras, you will see that um, the photogrammetry on version is far better. But if you're unfamiliar with an area or a city that you're flying in, um, it really wouldn't make a lot of difference to you. Here we can see as we approach Gunwharf Keys and pass by the Spinnaker Tower here, that that building now in the centre of the screen, the one on the left, photogrammetry off version, is a great looking building, but it's nothing like the real thing, whereas the one on the right, which we're moving towards now, is an actual uh, much better rendition of that particular skyscraper at the back of Gunwharf Keys, uh, and we'll pan all the way down. The one thing I will say about photogrammetry is if you go too close in and too far down, it does look like there's been a nuclear explosion um, whereas the one on the left without photogrammetry always looks better when you're moving close. So I'd suggest that if you're flying with photogrammetry on, um, it, obviously don't go too close. And here we can see in these images, photogrammetry off on the left. Uh, and the photo on the right is actually a photograph I took uh, from the Spinnaker Tower some time ago of the building that you can actually see with the photogrammetry on. This is a real photograph of that building on Gunwharf Keys, but you can clearly see that it. Uh, it looks like the one that Microsoft um, have put in with the photogrammetry on edition. So now as we pan back over these fields and over these buildings, you'll see a huge difference between the buildings on the left and the right. The photogrammetry on buildings are much more accurate, uh, much better depicted. But as I've said earlier, um, my only complaint about photogrammetry on is the images do appear to be a little bit darker than those on the left. Or is it my setup or my computer? I'm not sure. These videos were both shot at exactly the same time in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Incidentally, trying to keep two videos exactly the same is almost impossible, so there are some fades and a few cutaways here. But this is around towards um, Portsmouth Railway Station and the back end of, and as you can see as the cameras both come to a stop here, um, the building, the grey building on the right-hand side of the photogrammetry off and on versions do look completely different to one another, the one on the right being a much more accurate rendition as are these houses that we're now passing over. They're much more accurate than the ones on the left. It does actually look like a housing estate rather than just vacant plots on the left. And here on the right we have uh, our church or a cathedral. Uh, photogrammetry on recognises that as a church or cathedral, whereas photogrammetry off recognises the building but doesn't actually recognise what it is, just gives it some basic shape. But as I've already said, if you're not familiar with a city or area where photogrammetry is included, does it matter? No, because that image on the left looks perfectly good to me. I'd be quite happy flying over that if I didn't know Portsmouth. Obviously I live in in England, I live in Coventry and I visit Portsmouth quite often um, so I do know the area really well. And here as we jump back over the Spinnaker Tower, um, these ships in the uh, marina by the way and the boats and the yachts, um, you may not have these on yours, this is an add-on for me, but as you can see again these um, blocks of flats and skyscrapers do look different on the photogrammetry version than they do on the photogrammetry off version. And as we approach what are look like maybe oil coolers or water towers, I'm not quite sure, and maybe even gas towers, I'm not really sure what these are, uh, you can once again see that the renditions of the ones on the right in the photogrammetry on uh, are a lot better. Uh, and that's about it really. This was a very short video about photogrammetry. Um, use it or don't use it. Um, it's down to your preference. Obviously if you know a city or you know an area, I'd recommend switching it on and going and having a look. But obviously if you're flying commercial airliners like I do most of the time, it doesn't really make a lot of difference because I'm flying too high to make out cities and uh, landmarks anyway. But that's it. That's photogrammetry on in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can like this video. You can dislike it. I don't really care. I only do these to kill time. Have fun. Stay safe. This may well be my last video before Christmas. Merry Christmas.